Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rookie Balboa run where we're trying to beat legendary Iron Man with rookies and rookies only. Are you ready for Operation Stranded Resistant Agents aka Fallen Vanguard? Then it is time uh, to head into it because today we're going to free and liberate uh, the scientist Dr. Peter Boss. Gain 110 intel. And uh, this is, by the way, a great kind of debugging of how the mechanic of uh, soldier rewards work. Since our highest uh, ranking soldier um, is the sniper, inappropriate Murphy, um, who is just like basic soldier, we're getting rookies as a reward. So my initial theory that uh, those soldier rewards would be based on time that has progressed was wrong apparently it takes the highest rank in your roster and then gives you one rank below that um we're going to go in with richter uh, aka sonar sane hayward and a new rookie called robinson no name uh, whom we lately picked up i'm just still trying to find a bond mate uh, with uh, hayward and the only other option that we would have is uh, Epi. You know what? Nah, maybe they are uh, bonding nonetheless. Let me just check something real quick. Soldier bonds. Compatibility. Uh, who is somewhat compatible? Bastard. Yeah, sort of, I suppose. And she has really, really, really poor compatibility with uh, Epi. Epi, on the other hand, like 1.3 is abysmal. On the other hand, Epi here uh, is not liked by many. I'm sorry to say, it, uh, bro, but you are definitely not a popular uh, person. Universe would be his counterpart. So. Let's just get Universe, I'll uh, put the armor and everything uh, on her. It's better to have a viewer character than a random one, even if it doesn't mean bonding. Alright, there we go, so uh, Universe is now together with Hayward. They are not a team yet, and I assume with their low yeah, chemistry that might not even work. But uh, I want to give the viewer characters a bit more exposure than a random rookie. It dawns on me if we have a few spare, uh, a few spare supplies. Maybe I'm just exchanging the rookies for actual viewer characters. You know what? I'll do that right after, uh, right after this mission, because uh, then we we do have a bigger roster of characters that are actually meaningful. All right, welcome. We just landed. Uh, so it's one of those missions where we are supposed to uh, evacuate the scientist. Uh, fun fact, uh, these VIP escort missions with the loss do actually have no timer. Uh, there is a timer until it runs out of ammunition, but nothing happens, so we can slowly but surely advance. Second fun fact, most of these missions are breeding grounds for the Chosen. So I remember distinctly that I had those missions with uh, the uh, assassin quite a few times. Talking about which? No, it is the warlock. Interesting. Kinetic plating, that is bad. So extra, uh, extra hit points when we're missing. Immune to explosions, that's bad as well. And dense profile. Higher defense after missed shots. Bewildered is good for us, but the rest is really, really poor. Well, we got repeaters. They need to do the job. Can only say repeaters are going to be our main method of dealing with all of this madness here. And there we go.
Hayward moves up, kills this guy, and we're good. In parallel, let's get over there, and let's do it rather fast. One person in the middle might be a good idea. Look at that! Spectral zombies. What a coincidence. Well, they are going to be an issue on top of uh, the loss. We're now dealing with a few hit points that are being resummoned every, every so often. And there we go. Lots and lots and lots of lost. I think we just got to clear this out as far as possible. Luckily, we got that extended mag here. It's the perfect modification for a weapon against the lost. Good, in parallel, let's move over here. Even more loss. Okay, so the idea is we gotta clean all of them out and then we're going to use one scout to move ahead slowly. Luckily, we have an ultra uh, secure position with both of the balconies Not much can go wrong. They can't reach us and we can cross fire in between the balconies Very good, so we got rid of the spectral zombies Few more overboard shots and then uh, we're good. That was a reasonably successful first turn. With tracer rounds and high ground, even rookies can look terrifying against the loss, and luckily we're still, thanks to our good research, so far ahead or at least so far on par with the um, curve that our laser weapons are doing as a real favor here. High damage. Good, we're continuing to move up here. Wow, even more lost. Nice. Executed. Reloading. Reloading. Overwatch, reload Overwatch, very good. So we got one more loss there, and I think it's fair to say that we're almost ready to advance, even if there is a swarm. The turret just ran dry of ammo. They've got nothing to hold back the loss now. Menace one five, get to their position on the double. Are you ready? Okay, so how about we're using both of our bond mates to take that really solid position here. And they got some backup cover from high grounds. 
on both ends. Unfortunately, missed the mark. Got some problems now. Luckily for us, the cover, uh, fi covering fire from the balcony, really works well. Ah, that could be a problem. Yep, mine scorch is typically an issue. Although they are standing right next to one another. And their presence should end mind's, uh, mind effects. The question that I'm wondering is, it would be a bit stupid uh, if they could help one another, although both of them are kind of dazed. But maybe that's how it works. Who knows? It says they are no longer dazed. <laughs> okay, it worked. All right, fantastic. Bondmates are just the best. The Warlock has nothing on a good pair of Bondmates. With them next to one another, mind control, nada. As long as they are tanking in the front line, we are good. Your selfish pursuits under the guise of resistance will lead to so many needless deaths. There is no selfish pursuit here, my friend. It's just we're we're trying to survive. Alright, should have potentially taken other shots first, but it's okay. Reloading. Okay. Let's get the dashers down first. Ten percent chance to insta kill him. All right, one shot per round. Now his defense increases. I don't want to deal with that, to be entirely honest. Okay, so, hmm, still got one of them over there. Might be not the worst idea to move in. There's the Mimic Beacon, which will deter at least uh, the one trooper. There's a mind control, which of course is successful. And he takes some more damage. Fantastic. Good, let's end the mind control real quick. Safest way of doing that is just standing right next to our friend. So much for the mind control. We've got to clean up the battlefield a bit. We're going to do that from high ground.
Many problem with the lost, but thankfully with the uh, deep magazines and and a good chance to hit, we are doing quite well. Good first reload here, thanks to that super extended magazine. Getting into a solid position. Not the best loot. Well, the data pad isn't bad per se, so that actually works quite well. No Team working because we have this guy flanked. Nice little crit, by the way. Ten percent chance for an insta kill. Did not happen. We're not going to deal with the uh, dashers. Fifty-fifty is good, specifically since he's bewildered. Yeah, that means extra damage. And the classical spectral army. It's going to come up. Is it just one stun lancer? No, two. Reload, hit. All right, so far so good. Sixty-six percent. Might as well reload beforehand and give it a go. Hair trigger, fantastic. So let's get rid of the dashers first. Alright, we're reloading. And unfortunately this time it missed. But we get another 50-50. Another miss. All right, we just gave him six hit points. Great. Some more dazing. We've got a soldier down. Get to him before the chosen do. Get back in there. But that allows us to revive. so that I can hopefully flank him soon. Wow. Oh, 
Well, we basically are back where we started. There's the mind control I was hoping we would not uh, receive. Can't get her out of it, so we need to kill him this turn. Or move back, which I don't want to do. No longer threat. Your commander will lead you only to your death. Orders confirmed. We've got to be a bit careful here. This here should remove the cover. I don't think that we're going to even shred him. Yeah, Blast Shield prevents that, but at least we do have free line of sight, which is important. Got to get rid of the dashers equally important the alternative would be a lot of damage next turn which of course we don't want to uh, which we don't want to take now after that worked out well moving into full cover and a flanking position against the chosen and let's hit him Alright, moving up. Good cover spot. And this might be a crit. Very nice hit, by the way. We're going to get shot once. But the, the rookies, uh, the lost are good targets, so she might just continue to shoot all of them. Which is not that bad. Reload takes the turn. <laughs> he took another hit. Very well. Good. Moving up. Revive. Sane is needed. Desperately. We're out of ammunition all the way. Okay, wait. Well, that works. But this hopefully will be the kill. Very nice. Good. Can we get our soldier back, please? Hayward hey, does need to stay with the enemy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, that was an intense fight. The VIP is secure, Commander. If we can spare the manpower, we should try to bring the escort in as well. Yeah, not happening on the escort. Oh, more loss. There's nothing keeping the law from overrunning this area. They're already closing in. Kill confirmed. Good, let's get... Let's at least try to get some of the dashers. Down. Ammo fast. Enemy 
Well. At least we got the VIP. And that's also 120 intel if I'm not mistaken. So all we got to do now is... Take the money and run. Oh, what? They even reached us. Holy moly. Get back to the entry point for extraction before you get overrun. We're picking up more heat signatures than the sensors can keep up with. Good, we're doing exactly that. That's affirmative. Moving back as far as we can, and let's try to get the stasher. It seems to be difficult. Yeah, Hayward needs to run. Even more lost. Unfortunately, those dashers can be a menace. Barely managed to ignore them. Fantastic. Let's get the dashers. Enemy destroyed. Let's One. Do this. I need ammo. Reload. Just trying to get the ultra fast ones. Alright, sorry that was a call. Should make sure not to get caught during recording. Good. Sane begins to sprint like there is no tomorrow. Sonar does the same. Hayward does the same. And we're sprinting up here as well. The IP is almost at the exit. Another lost swarm. So we're, we might take a few more hits here and there, but we should generally be fine. Unfortunately, I couldn't hit those two guys. They were out of uh, line of sight, so maybe we're going to take a hit. Yep. I deserve that one. Okay, and that's the fastest exit uh, that I've done in a while. Luckily, everybody could uh, move out. So we took some damage. It was not a flawless mission, but 50 kills. We got the Warlock down and 120 intel plus a scientist, which will help us to even um, research faster. So all in all, Pretty damn good mission. Very good. Landed. Yeah, they don't have a good cohesion. 2.3 is bad. Cool. Another scientist, 110 intel. That's great. I love it. All right. In terms of armory... How many soldiers that are no names do we have? So, Priam Vada, I'm sorry, buddy, but you gotta go. So that's one. 
Who else? Uh, these are all named soldiers, so we're fine. We should take this ship and go colonize. Paul is an unnamed soldier, so that's two. And yeah, Tina doesn't matter. She is just going to be there for the training. Everybody else is a character from the character pool, so I'll just get two additional rookies real quick. All right, so back from the black market, I, matter of fact, recruited four instead of uh, two. So let's take a look at the newcomers. Two were replacements for our rookies that we've gotten, and the other two uh, no, I just got on top of it. So XQS6 has just joined us. Welcome on board, buddy. Um, we also got Ataxia here. Uh, first timer. Uh, black from Japan. That is quite rare as a combination. Matter of fact, I saw a documentary that there is still a lot of uh, sentiment against skin color in Japan, but we don't want to go into that topic here. There is another um, soldier by the name of Lyris uh, Lyrical, uh, so uh, she will join us. And finally, Bubble, uh, Tariq Bubble Ray. Uh, that's, uh, he's going to be fun. So quite a few new rookies. I selected specifically newcomers because uh, this is a rookie run. And what better way to showcase new soldiers than on the rookie run? So, what are we going to do, Saiken? What are we going to do? I think we're gaining input for three more days and then we're going to fish for more supplies. So far, so good. The Avatar project is all quiet. Uh, well... We got the Viper, we survived the Viper rounds and now they got Stiletto rounds. That's equally unpleasant. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the... Good, so we're going to see a sabotage. We're going to see a crackdown on the resistance and we're going to see... really nothing oh no it's in uh sabotage as well well that's a problem and we're almost full so gotta research uh, that uh, that that uh, turret uh, defense on top of which let's just get plus one resistance for now that's more important this here really screws us over no, no, no. Oh, well, finally. Oh, and 19 ability points. Well, that is useless for us. That's the only thing that we can do this month. Who gets that one hit point? I think we're giving it to Roby, who is almost our tank at this point. Wounded doesn't matter. Require an additional soldier. Requires an additional soldier. Let's put Epi on it. And yeah, 13 days. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. So a couple of uh, things. Number one, we want to immediately make contact down there. Number two, we do have quite a few uh, supplies waiting for us is money. Number three. This is great. I would like to. I would have liked to see other superior features. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Yeah, not worth the twenty-five intel. In terms of selling, yeah, the laser sights can go. I don't mind. Those I would like to keep. Okay, 490. I think we're just going to collect that, to be entirely honest, because with those uh, supplies, we can start building. 
the remaining buildings in the base and now we're making contact afterwards so this has been done in terms of base building once this here is cleared we should be fine everybody else is super busy we're going to end up on the defensive Psylab doesn't need an upgrade we don't have Hilarium to upgrade those. No bond that can be improved. We already got all of... Just out of curiosity. Can we upgrade the laboratory one more time? No, we can't. Okay, just wanted to make sure I was almost certain. And finally... Yeah, that already has happened. Yeah, nothing that we can really upgrade. I was hoping we could get plasma rifles a bit faster because that becomes more and more of a pressing concern at this point in the game. But so far we're fine. Now it's really time to make contact uh, and then Commander, secure to contact to South, uh, to uh, Australia as well. Once we do have uh, the full control of South America, we also can make instant contact, which will be a huge relief for us. And we got enough intel to uh, to basically do that right away. But of course, before anything happens, there is another uh, retaliation mission that we need to take care of. Uh, that's going to be fun. That is going to be good fun. We're still <laughs> without upgraded weapons and we now do have stiletto rounds against us uh, alloy padding this here is nasty uh, this will this will mess with us, us big times the dark events really are not kind to us this time really um, okay it is what it is we gotta go through it 10 more days until plasma rifles and then maybe at this point it's going to look a bit different I will end the mission here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy what you have seen, don't forget to hit that uh, like button. It helps. And uh, leave a comment down below. Would you have thought that we make it into July? Uh, yes, no, maybe. Let me know what you think. See you later and goodbye.